put some screw-ups on the model. I don't know why, but today seems like it's going to be a great day. There's something in the air that makes me feel like things are going to go my way. Oh my way. god. The birds are chirping, oh, this is cool. the sun is shining bright. There's a skip in my step, a pep in my pep. And I don't know why. Hey there, mailman. Seriously? Oh my, my god, the spam. No fantastic news. Ah! <laughs> Day makes me feel so happy that my face is numb. My heart is racing Dear God. The new. So many places and people to me now. Oh, the spam. Right. Right. I get the off me. No. No. I don't know why, but it seems like a great day. Please nerf this. I just spend more time with my kids. It's carpeting. I gotta see the day. I gotta move. Come on! Said my wife and boss and kids and parents will say we were wrong about you. Seriously? Yes. Hey Dennis! That's my name. You really get a moment? No. Why would I do that? Quit Come on, man. That was like three days ago. Or was it? Something today makes this me feel This mother is spamming. Oh my god. Is still unexplored. How did I get out of this tree? Now Are you serious? Now I'm over there. What the? Under this new now back in the tree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm backstage with my very oh. best friends. What the? Good day everyone, my name is Professor Dojo Sniperwolf and once again I am bringing it to you live here from the crib with the latest Dope Dojo project, How to Punish That, a series starring myself as we take a look at some of the more often complained about strategies of online fighting gameplay and determine if they are really unbeatable or if there's a method of punishing them that people just haven't bothered to look for yet. Tonight in our debut episode we're going to be taking a look at the controversial Jackie Briggs. Jackie Briggs is a character many would describe as a zone-slash-spamming type, and when I say many, I'm largely referring to the casual audience. So tonight we're going to be taking a look at what exactly makes Jackie Briggs so controversial. Jackie has three variations like all the characters of Mortal Kombat Jackie X. Briggs. They include High Tech, Shotgun, and Full Auto. Now, when it comes to the people who are complaining, you never really hear about high tech and shotgun. In fact, Jackie Briggs is infamous for only her one variation, full auto. So, what exactly makes full auto so rage inducing to the casual audience? Let's take a look. Since the launch of Mortal Kombat X, no character has received the same amount of negative attention as Jackie Briggs in her full auto variation. In fact, a simple Google search will show you the endless numbers of GameFAQ articles, Twitter comments, and YouTube videos, all from fans who absolutely hate this character. For, I mean, there was even a article written about Jackie Briggs in terms of spamming being okay in fighting games, zoning versus spamming, competitive players versus casual players. It's insane, and the comments in this article are even worse. I can't imagine a character being hated as much as Jackie Briggs is. So, in order to understand exactly what fans are feeling, we have to see what they are experiencing. So let's take a look at this video that I found. Round two, fight. Okay. In the corner. Machine guns and rockets, okay. Uh-huh. So they sit in the corner and use hand cannon. Not even moving. Okay, and the Kung Jin player. Ooh, okay. Now I see. Alright. Hmm. 
Alright. I think we can pretty much get the message. That looked pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna front. But no character is without its flaws, and no strategy in fighting games is unbeatable. Let's take a look at Jacqueline Briggs and see what we can come up with. Okay. In order to defeat the Legion bullet spray, known as hand cannon, we must first understand exactly how the move works. So let's take a look. Record, move list, Jackie Briggs full auto, hand cannon, down forward triangle. The move has a 14 frame startup, it's minus 10 on block, and it's plus 8 on hit. Now, to the casual player, those numbers are going to be completely meaningless. You'll have no idea what I'm talking about. So, for simplicity's sake, let's just say that the move starts up fairly quickly, meaning that it, it comes out fairly quick. No joke intended. If you get hit, there isn't much you can do to counter her if she does it a second time. If you block it up close, you can shut her down, and if you block it at a distance, eh, there's not much you can do. The move is also a high, which is going to be very important when it comes to knowing how to punish it. So let's take a look at Ermac and see if we can find some methods of getting around it. An important part of punishing any character in a fighting game is first figuring out what you can and cannot do. In this instance, the Kung Jin player from our video earlier demonstrated the proper technique in getting around hand cannon. But then when his frustration grew to a certain point, he sort of forgot, and it cost him. So, let's put ourselves at full screen. The first thing any player is going to do when they see hand cannon is they're going to block. Rightfully so, because you don't want to eat a whole lot of damage and end up losing the round. But look at the health at the top of the screen. Look how much chip damage hand cannon is doing. I mean, at this point, moving forward, I'm going to lose the round anyway. So what can you do? Let's first reset the positions. We will set Jackie to hand cannon. Oop. We fired our rocket prematurely. Okay. So we're at full screen. What should you do? Should you block? You can, but you're only doing yourself a disservice. And let's see exactly that disservice. Meter. Normal. Okay. Alright, so we're blocking it full screen. Look at Jackie's meter. Look how fast it's filling up just for me blocking hand cannon. This is going to be an important part of her strategy <coughs> in terms of keeping me out because it's going to give her plenty of meter to use her rocket, which we don't want. So what should we be doing? Let's reset the positions again. Look at that. Because hand cannon is a high projectile, you're able to neutral duck and the attack will whiff completely. However, as is the case with Mortal Kombat, if you block while crouching, it extends your character's hitbox and you will get hit. So, the first thing we should do is just simply duck, gradually move forward, and boom, we've clapped to Jackie. Now, I know what you guys are going to tell me. You're going to say, well, Sniper Wolf, when you get close enough, she's either going to meter burn the rocket or she's going to shoot the ground. So, let's take a look at her rocket attacks and figure out if there's a way around those as well. All right. We're back in Jackie's move list, taking a look at the hand cannon, which, as we said before, is a high-hitting projectile. Now, we know that you can neutral crouch underneath it, and the move will miss you completely, but we can also see that players have the option of burning meter to turn it into a mid-hitting projectile, which you guys would know as the rocket. Now, in Mortal Kombat, mid-hitting projectiles cannot be ducked underneath. You have to find other ways around them. So let's take a look at Ermac in the Master of Souls variation to see if we can come up with a way for him to get around Full Auto Jackie. So we'll go ahead and move to full screen. We'll try to duck. Okay, we can see that doesn't work. What can he do? 
Well, blocking certainly out of the question. Shoot. Can't move. See? Go back to full screen. We've caught Jackie for full combo. What else? Full screen. He can disappear. He can even do that in the air. He can even hover. No problem. Gradually move forward. Just don't block because you're going to help build her meter. And you've already put yourself right in her face. Or, if you're feeling really ballsy... You can preemptively throw your soul ball, and it'll trade with her projectile in your favor, of course. Let's see if we can time it right. Nah, it's still too soon. Yeah, we're a little late that time. And boom. right back on top of her for full combo. Now I know what you guys are going to say. Well, Sniper Wolf, if I move forward, she's just going to do the ground rocket. The ground rocket, you guys will know as the... Low rocket. It starts up in 31 frames. It's a low, obviously. It's minus one on block and plus 57 on hit. You really don't want to get hit by this move. Okay. So let's examine this move. It hits low, obviously. But look at the small area that it actually hits. I mean, I'm sitting right next to it. Now, as far as beating this move, you can try to armor it, but you're probably going to lose unless you have a specific character. Now the only thing is that this move has a 31 frame startup, meaning you can kind of see when she's going to do it. It's not any huge, you know, fast, flashy move. So that one, even though you can't directly punish, you, you can see it coming long enough to just jump over it. Now, I know what you guys are also thinking. Sniper Wolf, you play Ermac. You play a character that can teleport, obviously teleporting characters are going to give Jackie a hard time. I play blank. How does blank beat Jackie Briggs? We'll take a look. And we're back. Alright, so obviously I can't sit and go over all 29 characters, three variations each, and figure out ways that they can get around full auto Jackie. Part of that is going to be on you guys. You have to understand how the moves work and how you can get around these types of situations. So, I'm going to be taking a look at a few characters, kind of trying to montage something together to hopefully give you guys some ideas. Alright, here we go.
Okay, so hopefully that gave you guys some idea of what to do with those particular characters. Now, like I said, obviously I can't go through the entire roster, three variations each, and try and figure out what they can and cannot do against Full Auto Jackie. It's going to depend on you guys. Mortal Kombat X has one of the best training modes of any fighting game I've ever seen. You can set the AI to pretty much do anything in a whole wide variety of scenarios. So, next time you're online and you're playing a full auto Jackie that has you wanting to break your TV, just stop, take a deep breath, go into training mode, do exactly as I did, set the character to do hand cannon over and over, pick your character, and find out how to get around it. Now, not every character has a direct counter to hand cannon. Sometimes there's just bad matchups, and that's how fighting games go. But I can guarantee you that shooting tweets at Ed Boon or Tyler or Apollo or whoever, trying to get the character nerfed, is, is just not going to work. It, you're something you're going to have to deal with as a player. So, use the training mode. Okay, It's got all the tools you need to get around that. And I guarantee if you put the work in and actually you know, try... You can get around something as simple as a high projectile with a rocket mix-up thrown in every now and again. So, this will conclude the first episode of How to Punish That. If you guys have a character that just simply frustrates you and you have no idea of how to beat it or the strategy, leave a comment below, okay? Dear Professor Sniper Wolf, whatever you want to do, I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. But for now... This is Professor Sniperwolf, and I'll see you guys next time.